Good morning, we are here. Good morning, sir. Okay. So write this question, 5.26. <laughs> So we did this question. Okay. We have uh, completed this problem, right? Yes, sir. Okay. <clears throat> this one, 5.2, sir. Cylinder. Cylinder with the cutting plane inclined to HP. Yes, sir. Okay. So, cylinder, cylinder with the cutting plane, cylinder with the cutting plane inclined to HP. Okay, then next problem. <clears throat> this one pentagonal pyramid. Here, cutting plane inclined to VP. No, sir. No, okay. Okay, write this question. Cutting plane. So write this heading. So this is uh, the type. So first you understand the different types. Cutting plane parallel to HP. Cutting plane parallel to VP. Cutting plane inclined to HP. Cutting plane inclined to VP. So this is cutting plane inclined to VP problem. Cutting plane inclined to VP problem. Cutting plane inclined to VP problem. <laughs> Sorry. Dancing. Okay. So here, yes, tell me here what is the condition? Um there is a pentagonal pyramid. Okay. Uh one it's lying on HP and one of its long base edges. Okay. And um, uh, what about the axis? It's perpendicular to VP. VP. So axis perpendicular to VP means like this. So this is my axis. 
So axis perpendicular means axis is 90 degree to VP. Axis perpendicular to VP. Okay. So axis perpendicular to VP and the uh, one, one uh, <coughs> base edge, one base edge on HP. Correct? Yeah, yeah. One base edge. Yes, sir. Okay. So this is my base edge. So this is my base edge. <coughs> So this is once again, this is my this is my HP and this is my VP and uh, this is my axis line. Okay, so this is my axis line. Axis line is, axis is 90 degree to VP. That means this uh, perpendicular to VP. That means this angle is 90 degree and uh, this is my base edge. So base edge is uh, base edge on HP, base edge on HP, okay. So this is my base edge. This is my base edge. So, so I will name this as say A, B, C, D, E. So base edge A, B. So here base edge A, B on HP and the axis so i will name this say so this is my axis line mo i will name this axis as mo so axis mo is perpendicular to perpendicular to vp and parallel to hp okay so uh, yeah here yeah. what is the front view here what is the front view um it's um, a pentagon Okay, so front view, front view is a pentagon, and uh, what about the top view? A triangle. Top view is a triangle. Okay, so draw, draw the front view and the top view. When you draw the front view, you can see that one one base edge is on X Y line. Why? Yeah, yeah. One base edge on X Y line. Why? So it's resting on HP. Yeah, because because that edge is on HP. That's why. Okay, that edge is on HP. And, and one more question in the front view in the front view where is the axis yeah here yeah, here here this is my front view where is the axis um it's in the center center so ax, uh, axis is a point why ac here axis is a point why because it's perpendicular to vp yeah because because that line is perpendicular to vp correct okay
That's right. Okay. Then next is the where is the cutting plane? Where is the cutting plane? Um it's perpendicular to HB HP. Cutting plane perpendicular to HP. Here in the question, it is given that 30 degree to VP only. Where is perpendicular? Um, it's um, it's inclined to VP at 30 degrees. Yeah, and and um, it cuts the uh, axis uh, 20 millimeters from the base. 20 millimeter away from the base. Okay. Yes. Correct. Okay. So here, here the first thing is cutting plane inclined to VP. That means 30 degree to VP. Okay. See, if the cutting plane is inclined to HP means you have to draw cutting plane like this. So this is inclined to HP. Correct? Yeah, here. Yeah. 30 degrees yes, to sir. HP. So if the cutting plane is inclined to HP, that means cutting plane is above XY line. Okay. If, if the cutting plane is inclined to VP means so I will write this is cutting plane inclined to HP. Cutting plane inclined to HP. Okay. So this is cutting plane inclined to VP. This is cutting plane inclined to VP. So if the cutting plane is inclined to VP, that means you have to draw the cutting plane below XY line. Is that point clear? Yeah, yeah. Is that point clear? Yes, sir. Okay. So this is a shortcut. Okay. If the cutting plane inclined to HP, that means you have to draw the cutting plane above XY line. If the cutting plane uh, inclined to VP means you have to draw the cut cutting plane below XY line. Okay. So here cutting plane is inclined to VP. So 30 degree to VP, 30 degree to VP. That means you have to draw the cutting plane below XY line. And this is 20 mm away from the base. Okay. So in the top view, so this is my top view. So you have to draw the cutting plane here, right? You have to draw the cutting plane here, cutting plane here. Why cutting plane here? Because inclined to VP. And the cutting plane is at a distance of 20 mm away from the base. Okay. So this is my base, correct? Yeah, here. Yeah. This line is my base, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. So this is my base, okay? What is base here? What is the shape of base here? Pentagon, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. So this is my base. Base means this is my pentagon, pentagonal face. This is my pentagonal face. Okay. So, so this is my base. So the cutting plane is passing through a point at a distance of 20 millimeter away from the base. So you have to mark a point here. Okay on the axis. At a, so here it is 18. That is wrong. So here what is the value? 20 mm. Correct? Yeah, here. 20 yes, mm. Yeah. You have to take 2 centimeter. That means 20 millimeter. So take 20 millimeter from the base and mark a point here. Then draw a cutting plane such that the inclination is 30 degree. Correct? Yes, sir. Okay. So draw. Draw the cutting plane. Once you finished uh, the cutting plane, please tell me. <coughs> then, sir. Okay. So, then the next step is mark cutting points. That is the next very important mark cutting points. Mark cutting points. Okay. So here, how many cutting points? Yes, tell me. Here, how many Five. cutting points? Okay, I will, first I will zoom this. Okay. okay. So here, how many cutting points? Five. Five, okay. So I will check, okay. So cutting plane here, Cuts here, cuts on this slant edge, this slant edge, 
this slanted and this slanted. Okay, so uh, I will name this uh, front view. So this is A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash, and E dash. This point is apex M dash O dash. Okay, so in the top view, this is M. Uh, so this point is E, this point is A, this point is D, this point is B, and last point, this point is C. Correct? Yeah, yeah, just check. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. So here, the first cutting point is on M, E. You can see in the left side, M, E. Okay, one cutting point. Then the second slanted G is M, A. Then the next slanted G is M, B. Then the next slanted G is M, B. And the last slanted G is M, C. So total 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 cutting points. So this is my top view. This is my top view. And in the top view, in the top view, you can see two slanted edges are at the bottom. See, check the front view. Check the front view. Check the front view. Okay. When I look from the top side, you can see two slanted edges are at the bottom. What are the, uh, uh, can you tell me the name of that two, two slanted edges? MA and uh, MB. MB. So MA and MB. That means invisible. Okay. Invisible. In the top view, that two slanted edges are hidden. Invisible. Okay. So when you mark the cutting points, you have to mark visible slanted edges first. So this is one, this is two, this is three, then this point, this is four, and finally this is five. So like this. So this is very, very important. Okay. If you if you mark the cutting points like this, you will get the section very correctly. Otherwise, otherwise you have to think. Okay, you can think and uh, draw it, no problem. But but if you if you follow this type of uh, marking, then it will be very easy to get the cutting uh, section, se the shape of the section. You will get correct any any shape, any shape. You will get the correct correct section. So you can think, you can imagine, and you can draw. Not an issue. Okay. So I will mark here. So this is one. Okay. Then uh, where is two? Two is on M D. See here in this textbook, they are they are not following my method. Okay, they are using uh, uh, continuously one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so you you will not get the the correct uh, uh, shape. Okay, in some cases, so one, so this is one. I will mark here one. Then the next visible M D. Okay, then next is M C. M C is three. Then M B four, and M A five. Okay, then project this cutting point to the front view. Okay, one, one, two, one is where one is on M E. So I will project one here M E. So where is one? So this is one dash. Clear? Yeah, here one dash. Clear? One dash. Yes. Sir. Okay. Then where is two? Uh, where is two? And what is the problem of two? Um. It's on uh, M A. Two two cutting point. Two two cutting point two. Oh, it's on um M dash D dash. M dash D dash. And what is the problem? When I project it's, it, um, yeah. When I project a two, what is the problem? You will not get the correct point. Correct. Yes, sir. Okay. You don't know where is point two. You because that is passing through that that slant edge. Okay. So in that case, in that case, you have to, you have to uh, project. I will clear this drawing. Okay, I will clear this drawing. So in that case, the step is like this: you have to draw a center line in the front view. Okay, so this is a center line, parallel to x y line. Then take slant edge, M A or any slant edge, and draw an arc to this. This center draw an arc to the center line. Okay. Then project this to here and join this point to the apex. Okay. Then you have to transfer our point, this point to this slant edge. Okay. And project this to here. This 
this center line. Then take this distance and draw an arc. So you will get two dash. Clear, yeah, here. Yeah. Any doubt? Hmm? Any doubt? Which yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. You, uh, so for, first you one, one minute. One, yeah, one minute. Yeah, first you draw the center line. Can you see that center line uh, parallel to X Y line? Yes, first, sir. Yeah, first you draw the center line. The center line is parallel to X Y line. Okay. Okay. Then, then take th this as center, the axis as center. Com take compass axis center, then this slanted just radius, slanted. Slanted just radius and draw an arc to the center line. Done? Then, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Then, then project that that point to the base here. This line. This is my baseline. To project project this point to here. Here. Project this point to here. Okay. Yes, sir. Then join this point with the apex. Join this point with the apex. Then. Okay. Then uh, transfer our point. Transfer our point to this new slanted. So draw a line parallel to X, Y line from two. From two, draw a line parallel to this X, Y line and it will meet here. So I will name this as say two, one. Then, then project this two, one to the center line. Project this two, one to the center line. Then, okay, then send a sender. This, this is the sender. Take this distance radius, draw an arc to this, this slanted. So you will get two dash. That's it. Okay. Then all other points you will get. Okay. So, so this is one. This is two and this is three and this is four and this is five. Then where is three? Three is on. So I will name A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash, E dash. So this is E, A, D, B and C. Okay. So where is three? Three is um, M dash. Um, M dash C dash, correct? C check check top view M C three in in the textbook that name is five. Okay. My name is three. Yeah, yeah. Check. Yes, sir. Okay. So so project three two. Uh, the sec the uh, slanted is MC. So you have to transfer this to M dash C dash. So this is M dash C dash. So you will get three dash here. So this is two dash and this is one dash, one dash, two dash, three dash. Okay. Where is point four? Yes, tell me. Where is point four dash? Uh, M dash B dash. M dash? B dash. B dash. Correct. Okay. So M dash B dash. So you will get four dash and where where is last point five dash? Uh, on M dash A dash. Correct. Okay. So see you can you 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 will get one dash two dash three dash four dash five dash. Okay. So the next step is just simply join these points one dash two dash using straight line. 
2 dash, 3 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash, and 5 dash, 1 dash. Okay. So just join 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You will get this section. Okay. Draw 45 degree lines. So this is called a hatching. So this is my section. This is my section. And this view is called, this view is called a sectional front view. This view is called a sectional front view. Sectional front view. Because in the front view, you can see a section. That's why this is called a sectional front view. And this is called a top view. Answer. Okay. So, so in the question, just uh, read the last sentence. Yeah, here. What is the last sentence? Just read. The draw the top view, the sanctional front view, and its true shape. Okay. Draw the top view. So top view means this is my top view and uh, sectional front view. So this is my sectional front view okay so this is actually front view in this front view you can see the section that's why this is called a sectional front view and the true shape of the section true shape okay so here you can see the cutting plane is inclined to vp okay if the cutting plane is inclined to vp and this is my front view direction and here you will get a section here here the cutting plane is inclined if Say, if the cutting plane is parallel to VP, you will get the true shape of the section here. Yeah, here. Yeah. Is that point clear? If the cutting plane is parallel, if the cutting, this is, if this is the cutting plane, if this is the cutting plane and the cutting plane is parallel to VP, you will get the true means actual, true means the, the full, the correct, correct section that is called a true shape. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Okay, but here what is the problem? Here the cutting plane is inclined. Okay, if the cutting plane is inclined, you will not get the true, true section. Okay, so this is not true. True means the actual section. The size is actually reduced here. Size reduced. Why? Why? Because the cutting plane is inclined. If the cutting plane is parallel, you will get the true section here. Okay, here the cutting plane is inclined. So you will not get the true section and this this section is called apparent section apparent apparent section apparent section that means that means not true not actual not true section so you have to draw the true section what is the actual shape of that what is the actual dimension of that section so for that the the method is like this you have to draw a, a new plane parallel to the cutting plane okay you can take any convenient distance so this distance you can take any convenient distance any convenient distance any convenient distance take any convenient distance and draw a line parallel to the cutting plane so this is my cutting plane so this is my cutting plane okay draw a draw a new reference line so this is my new reference line new reference line that line is parallel to the cutting plane and this distance is any any convenient distance <laughs> then from all the cutting points so this is my cutting point one so this is two this is three this is four and this is five from all the cutting points draw projection lines Okay, one, then five, then two, then four, and this one, three.
then say okay then <laughs> then take this uh, from x y line to one dash measure this distance yes what is the value of this distance x y line to one dash take this uh, tell me what is the value uh -huh. this one from x y line to one dash this point Is 17. One seven. Okay, 17. So this uh, this 17 millimeter in the compass and this new reference line. So this is my point one. So this is my uh, my uh, center and cut here. Cut on this line. Okay, you will get one. So this distance is 17. Clear? Is that point clear? Yes. 17. Yes. The same distance from the from the front view x y line to one. Okay, then the next one, this distance, what about x, y line to 2 dash, this distance? Uh, 25. 25, okay. So take 25 in the compass and where is my 2 here? Yeah, this is my 2. So this is my sender, uh, compass here, then cut an arc here. So this point is 2. So this distance is 25. Then what about this distance three, this distance, x, y line to three dash? 1.8. 1 1.8, 1 .8. that means 18, okay? So where is three? So this is uh, three. So compass here, draw an arc here. This point is three. Then what about this distance four, this distance? x, y line to four dash. Three. That three means point three, right? Three millimeter. Yeah, yeah. Three millimeter. Yeah, that means point three. Okay, so you have to mark point here. So this center cut here. So you will get four here. And finally, two. What about this distance? Two dash from x y line to two dash. Uh, um. Nine. 9 uh, millimeter, right? Yes, sir. Okay, that means 0. 0.9. Okay, so from uh, compass here, cut on this line, you will get 5 dash. Sorry, 5. So join 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1. Okay, and then draw 45 degree line. So this is my true shape. This is my true shape of section. This is my true shape of section. Then, sir. Okay, so then mark all dimensions. Mark all dimensions. Here the dimensions are 20, then height is 45, then inclination is 30 degree and 20 mm away from the base. So mark these four dimensions. <clears throat> so this type of problem is cutting plane inclined to vp problem cutting plane cutting plane inclined to vp problem cutting plane inclined to vp problem okay and uh, this is my sectional front view 
this is my sectional front view and uh, this is section this is my section and this is called a apparent shape apparent section apparent shape not true true shape this is apparent why this is apparent because the cutting plane is inclined if the cutting plane is parallel you will get true shape here okay if 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 your section is apparent you have to draw the true shape so this is my true shape this is my true shape of section true shape of true shape means the actual actual shape true shape of section and uh, this is my top view this is my top view with the cutting plane top view with the cutting plane top view with the cutting plane so this is my sectional front view and uh, this this is my section and this section is not a true section why why this is not true because the cutting because plane is inclined. inclined so that is very important if the cutting plane is parallel you will get true section here okay so this is my apparent section and uh, here this is my true shape of the section clear yeah here yes sir okay then i will give one homework and then we will finish okay Okay, so write this question, homework, write this one. Not in detail, just uh, mark, uh, write the important main points only. Yes, uh, yes, yeah, tell me here, what is the object? Uh, hollow square prism. Hollow square prism, okay. Dimensions are given. Well, what are the dimensions, yes, tell me. Uh, 25 mm big side okay five millimeter thickness yes height and 55 uh, millimeter long axis okay height then what are the condition um it's resting on its base on hp hp okay Uh, it's and the base side equally inclined to VP. Base side equally inclined to VP means uh, they're inclined at 45 degrees. Yes, correct. So 